Well, now we know why these masks matter. <laughs> Lindsay DeCosto is here with Abraham Brown. And it's the seasonal celebration, Dia de los Muertos, comes to Henderson this year. And they're here to tell us all about it. And thanks for the mask. And thanks for the skull. <laughs> the mayor's even wearing his. So, Abraham, tell us the, the tradition and how that's really come to life in our tri-state area. Well, Day of the Dead is a wonderful celebration that celebrates Actually, it celebrates the life uh, right. of our uh, loved be people that have passed away. Uh, we make sure that we celebrate uh, the things they liked, the things that they enjoyed, with a lot of music, a lot of very tasty good food, uh, dances, and, and a lot of wonderful traditions. Uh, we're going to have a candlelight procession that's very uh, important for the celebration of the Day of the Death. Uh, that it's going to highlight uh, a lot of our traditions downtown Henderson. And this is a very old tradition and a very old custom? Yes, yes. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been celebrated for hundreds of years. Actually, uh, before the Spaniards came to Mexico, the celebration was already there uh, in the Americas where they would celebrate uh, their ancestors with, with color and with a lot of uh, fiesta. So. We love Fiesta. So Lindsay, <laughs> let's talk about Henderson's version of this. I know many communities are in various ways celebrating right, the yeah, Day of the Dead. Yeah. A few years ago, our county judge executive, Brad Schneider, got a few different groups in Henderson together, as well as Abraham Brown and some of our other business owners, to try to kick off the first Dia de los Muertos in Henderson. And that's been, that was four years ago. So this will be our third event. Without uh, COVID. Or at least right. without the scourge of it at this time. Right. Yes. And, and it, we were just so pleasantly surprised with the turnout from our community showing up and communities from around the area showing up. It's just a, a great way for us to celebrate um, this cultural event and also for the chamber to help celebrate minority-owned businesses as well. So well, it's been how, what, Tell us all the, all the events and how we can get involved in the candlelight vigil, etc. Well, it's this Saturday, October 29th in Central Park from 4 to 7. So, and there will be food trucks there, uh, live music, free kids activities, face painting, sugar skull painting. Uh, it will just be a jam-packed day, and again, it's all free. Wonderful. It looks like the weather's going to shape up, too. So tell us about our gal here. Who, well, who, who is this? This is Abraham. <laughs> this is our, our special person for, for the festival. This is the Katrina, and it's a wonderful tradition that uh, we always have a Katrina at the festival. This is going to be a 12-foot high Katrina that you don't want to miss seeing and taking <laughs> pictures with. Uh, it's going to be fun. We have a lot of artists that come and, and share their art, uh, share their love for the culture of the Day of the Death, and they uh, do face painting, beautiful. Uh, they do a lot of wonderful things uh, just to make sure that they showcase their art. So you don't want to miss Day of the Dead. It's going to be so beautiful. What time is the candlelight vigil again? Uh, candlelight is as soon as the uh, uh, sun goes down. Sun goes down. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What time to... is that, Ron? Saturday night? Uh, it'll be about ten till six. Ten till yeah. six. Okay. <laughs> so, are we lining up at the park, or where do we meet? Yeah, at the park, and there, there's the ofrenda again this year as well. Uh, and and as you go there, there'll be a, a lineup and agenda. Somebody will be on the mic, letting everybody know of all of the great things going on. And the volunteers that show up for this event are great, and it, it's just been wonderful to learn more about the event and continue to see it grow in our community. Yeah, we. we love to see that uh, culture in our city and in our communities. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you, Katrina. We'll see you with your uh, tall body coming up. Thank you, Lindsay. We'll be back with the mayor of Evansville, Indiana. So many things going on over there, I hardly know where to begin.